Fellow Zambians, by now you probably have, uh, have heard or have seen videos of Hichilema, Hakainde Hichilema, the president of the UPND's uh, relatives being paraded by retired, ma uh, retired Major Zambia National Service Richard Kachingwe and uh, the former vice president of the UPND, Mr. Geoffrey Waliamwamba. They've brought a group of uh, villagers purporting to be Hakainde Hichilema's relatives to come and testify to the fact that Hakainde Ichilema is a very bad man and is not fit to be president of the Republic of Zambia. Well, apparently some of those relatives that they have brought in are actually branch chairpersons of the patriotic front in their respective areas, despite being Hakainde, I mean Ichilema's, yeah. Then, of course, they have talked about a case where one person was jailed for five years, a relative of Ichilema, and they blame Akainde Ichilema. How can a, a president of a political party aspiring to be president jail his own brother? Well, this is one man that was offered a job by Hakainde Ichilema. He was employed, and he stole two cows in Ombe Shividivari Iva. And you know, Hakainde Ichilema does not operate his own farms. Hakainde Ichilema has managers that manage those farms. And when one of the workers who happened to be Akainde Ichilema's brother stole cows, he was reported to the police by his managers. And the police took action, took him to court. He was found with a case to answer and he was jailed for five years. Ladies and gentlemen, this is testimony to the fact that Hakainde Ichilema does not tolerate theft. A thief is a thief. Brother, sister, uncle, father, a thief is a thief. And Akainda Ichilema, all he did is not to interfere in that case. And the thief was caught. The thief was jailed. He paid for his, uh, his, his crime. You can't blame him for that. Now, what is so annoying is that we have information, or we have heard that Mr. Geoffrey Waliamwamba and Major Richard Kachingwe have paid 1,500, 1,500 United States dollars to each one of those clowns that were paraded to come and speak ill of their own relatives. And uh, of course, I mean, how else can you imagine your own brother, your own sister? You go and uh, be on the, on the devil's side. It's, it's just... Uh, they, they, there's got to be a motive, and the motive in this case is the 1,500 US dollars. And I would like Mr. Geoffrey Waliamwamba to dispute this, because Richard Kachingo doesn't have any money. I know it didn't come from him. Most probably it came from GBM. Yeah. And just on the morality aspect, ladies and gentlemen, look at this GBM, Geoffrey Waliamwamba. He was vice president of UPND. Hakainde Ichilema trusted him with his own life. Hakainde Ichilema dropped Dr. Kanisha Spanda, the pilgrim, to give that position to GBM with the hope that GBM was going to bring the northern bloc, Luapula Northern and Muchinga provinces, because he claimed he could do that. And we thought this guy is, a, is, is, a, is, a, is, a, is, is from the royal establishment of the royal kingdom, you know, of the Bemba kingdom. He could actually do it. Well, it was not to be because we lost northern province or the northern bloc. And including uh, the fact that GBM's own daughter failed to clinch the position she stood on. So, but look at Kanisha's banda. A mild tempered man. He didn't take it hard. He has never spoken ill of Haka Inde Ichilema. Why? Because they for fear. People can be dropped, people can be promoted. It happens like that. It doesn't work like that. That's bad politics, you know. But for GBM, who was always insulting Ed Galungu, Ka Ed Galungu, Mwebe na Zambia nga mulefu ae nsala, muka votele Ed Galungu, muli haka inde ichile ma, emuli emuli ubu no onshi, muli haka inde, he changed when he was squeezed. His businesses were being squeezed. And he went now to UPND and started uh, to, to the Patriotic Front and started now talking about Akainde Ishilema, a friend that trusted him and even entrusted that position second only to him. What kind of a man is this that does that? He's a clown.
He's a clown. And we as Zambians, we need to correct this. We don't need politicians with this bad caliber, Mwebantu. Where have these people come from? Because if we had people like this, Zambia's independence was go not going to be attained. It took Kenneth Kaunda and Harry Mwangankumbula to negotiate as brothers, despite coming from the opposite side of, uh, of, of Zambia, southern and, and northern, to negotiate for the betterment of Zambia in respect, with mutual respect. In case you have forgotten, Major Richard Kachingo is the one who is That's the same guy. So these are bad political players. Have you ever heard Mwena Zambia Shua, Haka Inde Ichilema, even responding to any of the insults that uh, they have leveled against him? Regardless whether it's a GBM or it's, a, it's, a, it's Kachingwe or anybody, even Shimba Kambuidabe Nebatsushi has insulted Haka Inde Ichilema. Have you ever heard Haka Inde Ichilema respond, re reply to any of that? The answer is no. This is the kind of leadership we want. Steady leadership, respectable leadership. Not here, we have to bring the bar up. The Zambian political bar has to go up. That is why some of us, most of us, support Akainde Ichilema. Because we have seen in him correction. He can correct things. He is allergic to theft. He is allergic to corruption. He is hardworking. This is a man who can let go. Brother Ivan Ombe Kabolala. I have my managers back where, okay, you are the managers, do what you think is right. And they reported to the police. I would do the same. Kavolal and Kavolal. And I cannot, can you blame Waka Inda Ichilema for that? They even get paraded in the social media. You know, look at how bad Waka Inda Ichilema is. No. Ladies and gentlemen, my fellow Zambians, like I always say, the answer is just around the corner. This Tonga man, Haka Inde Ichilema, forget about what the Patriotic Front are labeling him. Their aim is to stop him from going to State House, to paint him black. Even the tribalism, they say, Tonga, tribalism, because for even Zambia to alipata tribalism. So if you tell Zambians, you tribalist, they will hate him. But unfortunately, People are seeing they are not going to hate this great son of Zambia. And unfortunately, the train has left the station. Akainde Ichlema is on that train on the way to State House. Good evening. Thank you.